people think their car does a pretty good job of protecting them, but not always. Yeah, we found hidden car dangers, and we wanted to get results to make sure you are aware of potentially harmful scenarios. Airbags. Standard in new cars since 1998, they're intended to improve safety, but just how safe are they? Junkyards sell them, they shouldn't, but they do. Um, you can get them on eBay, all, you can get them anywhere, but if you value your life and your safety, get them new from the dealer. Steve Alfieri manages Russell Automotive in Apopka. He's talking about used and counterfeit airbags. You can buy them for cheap online, but they're nowhere as reliable as OE or original equipment. Well, as far as airbags go, the only way to purchase an airbag, not that you ever would, this is done through shops, is by the dealership. I wouldn't buy them anywhere but OE. This video released by Hyundai USA last year shows a counterfeit airbag failing in a spectacular fashion during a simulated crash. Some people may say though this is just an incentive for the car manufacturers to make more money. Not at all. This is this like I've been saying all along. This is your safety. A counterfeit airbag is one thing to avoid in your car. Another concern, push button ignition. You pull into your garage, put your car in park, but you forget to turn it off. When you close your garage and go inside, your car is still running. Sounds like something that would only happen out of the blue. Consider this from kidsandcars.org, a nonprofit that brings national attention to vehicular dangers. Since 2003, 20 people have died and more than 40 more injured from carbon monoxide poisoning involving cars with keyless or push button ignitions. And of those 20 fatalities, 10 were in Florida. Our last hidden danger, your car battery. In June of 2016, a woman and her three-year-old daughter were found dead on Florida's Turnpike in their still-running Porsche Cayenne. A preliminary report from the coroner's office indicates the cause of death as hydrogen sulfide intoxication or inhaling toxic fumes. Investigators believe those fumes came from the Porsche's battery located under the front passenger seat. So what advice does Alfieri give to people with cabin batteries? You want to make sure that if it is inside the vehicle that there are no cracks of any kind, make sure there's no fluid or liquid coming out. Uh, the last thing is if you do smell something inside the car, then most likely it is the battery. It's got a, a bad egg smell, uh, pretty strong. It'll also start burning your throat. Uh, that, that's a serious problem and should, should not be in the vehicle at all. Make sure you buy the right battery for your car. Porsche isn't the only car maker with batteries under a driver or passenger seat. General Motors, Jeep, Land Rover, and Volkswagen all have some vehicles with batteries under the seats as well. 